Well, Matti won that one. I think although it was a close race, but you might have noticed I slipped a little bit in the beginning. Mm. And when you're as close with Masters as us, it makes a lot of difference, I think, in skiing. Start is important. It is, it is. I noticed it a bit going forward, but fair win to Matti, I think. Well skied. Do you wanna do you wanna catch your breath? A bit and do maybe do the clean take and coffee afterwards when we get to the hotel? I can take a shower and you can take your breath. And I'll catch my breath. Yes. Speak more there. Yes. Well, all right. Welcome, everybody. And uh, I am extremely happy to be here with Matti Heikinen, world champion skier, who is also now our brand ambassador. So welcome. Thank you. To Clean Tech and Coffee. It may be the best setting we have had so far, I think, for any of these. So it's good to be here. We've just finished our race, and I have managed to get a little bit of rest. I don't think Matti needed much rest after it. Or did you? No. Shower is OK, <laughs> Good coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready for. Good, good. You're ready for the interview? Yes. Well, let's get to it. I know some of our shareholders have been interested in, in this, that we are getting you on board. And one of the questions, of course, is you were a shareholder in us already before you became a brand ambassador. Why is that? Why did you select us? And why did you invest in us? My hobby is to follow business and economics. Yeah. And uh, somehow I believe that clean tech business, that is the long term way of make things better yeah and uh, it's very difficult to find good companies small companies where you can make any investments yeah. but making investment to the clean tech uh, invest you have a possibility to make some allocation mm -hmm. to the different kind of small companies mm -hmm. and uh, you are the specialist and I trust you okay that sounds good well we'll it's a good point. We are, of course, a venue into these 13 companies as it is now. So it's a diversified portfolio, of course, yeah. Yes. And we agree that we think that is the future, the clean tech way of doing business. Well, is there among these 13 portfolio companies, is there any, let's say, do you have a favorite among them? As a Finnish person, I have to say Nuka, Nuka yeah. Solutions. It's like a very simple way of thinking how to yeah. make things better how to make uh, more buildings, making them more efficient. Mm. And um, and it's like a ultra scale it is. Pr product what they yeah. have. So that's my favorite and I, you can use it in uh, China, you can use it mm. in the uh, United States, yeah. you can use it in Europe. So yeah. you have to do lots of work, but I still believe that it's possible to make things better. Yeah, well that's an excellent choice, I would say. And as you say, it is very scalable. I, uh, they are actually able to install Nuka Solutions 9 buildings without even going there. And then they're able to save energy and make uh, tenants more productive. So that's fun to hear. Well, let's perhaps ask you a little bit now also about sports. We've just been skiing here and uh, you have the season coming up here. Do you have any, any projections for it or how is it going? Do you have anything to say about how it will go this year? At least I feel myself quite fast this morning when yeah. we were skiing, yeah. compared to you. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's a good <laughs> confidence boost. Yes. <laughs> but in top sport, the, uh, it's still the basic work, mm. what is the most important thing. Mm. And when you know what to do and how to do it, that's the most important thing. Then just make a plan and repeat mm. certain things in your training. And, and I've been concentrating a lot with the uh, with the strength and uh, working with the upper body to make me more. The main thing is to ski faster and yeah. we are skiing in cross country all the time faster and faster because of the equipment and also yeah. because of the uh, of the development of our sport. Mm -hmm. And we have Olympic Games coming and uh, there is a possibility to take a medal yeah. and I do whatever I can yeah. to take it. Well, I like that attitude. You're basically saying you you know what to do, and if you perform well, the results will come. In a way. Yes, this is an endurance sport. Mm. It's like a like a business. Mm. You have to have a long-term thinking. Yeah. And uh, I started cross-country skiing when I was nine years old. Yeah. So I've been uh, working first quartal 
25 years yeah. <laughs> right now in cross-country yeah. business. And, uh, You've been practicing it for yes, a while. Maybe so, that's why you beat me in the end. Yes, yeah. so I'm quite experienced, but yeah. still I feel that I can be a better skier. Yeah. And I work a lot with that. But uh, at the moment we are in Lapland and this period of the year it's very important to, to ski a lot yeah. in the snow and make still high quality training uh, for the February when we have a Olympic Games in Chongchang, yeah, South yeah. Korea. Yeah. So it's a lot of training right now, a lot of volume of training. Well, I know that one of your nicknames is actually Acid. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It's, uh, it's coming from the lactate. Yeah, exactly. How much you can take lactate in your body and you can still keep on going, even the lactate and the pain of lactate. Even though it's, it's building up. up. Yes, it's building up, so... So, so I imagine you, you know oh, for quite a high yes, level. Yes, and always so. if you have a nickname in, in your sport that is like a very good uh, mark in your CV. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm proud of that, that my colleagues have gave me that kind yeah, of yeah. name. Well, it says a lot, I think, about your ability to tolerate. Mm pain in, in training and in, in endurance sport. Well, back to a little bit more perhaps almost serious uh, issues, climate change. And of course we are affected by this differently in different regions of the world. And you are in a sport that is, I imagine, affected quite a bit. Do you see effects of climate change? Last 15 years things have changed. Yeah. We don't have so much snow in Scandinavia anymore in winter time. And also, if we go, for example, for the, in the Alps, for skiing in the mountain area, the winter is coming later, and and you can see in, in the more black snow in the mountains, nice. and you can see that things have changed. Yeah, and that's why it's important to stop and think why is it that mm. happening, and then make some individual choices and things better to stop this kind of development. Yeah. Yeah. Has it even been so? Is the, is the season the same? Or, I mean, how, how is it with your training nowadays? Do you have to go further and further north? Or how is, has this also changed for competitors? Yes, uh, mainly you can still find some snow from the north, of course, mm. but, but uh, in, for example, the southern part of Finland, we have to make some artificial snow yeah. more and you have to have some snow storage so we make in the springtime we make some artificial snow yeah. and we put it under the cover yeah. and we open that cover in the in the september no, uh, october yeah. and then we make artificial snow track so we have to be creative yeah. to make sure that we have a track even yeah. if the snow is coming from from the sky have to be innovative to actually keep the snow well <laughs> yeah well we're doing our best as well with carbon cutting technologies of course and we'll try to speed that up. So I'm curious, what is a typical training day for you now that it's a lot of volume training? What, what can it look like? I ski 80 kilometers. Per, 80 kilometers? Yes, 15 in the morning and 30 in the afternoon. Yeah. So my life is actually quite simple during the training camps. I wake up 7 o'clock in the morning, I eat breakfast, then I go skiing, two, three hours skiing, yeah. then I eat lunch, then I sleep. Then I eat again, then I go skiing. Yeah. 90 minutes, two hours. Yeah, yeah. Then I eat. Then I watch about business yeah. from the laptop. Yeah. Then I eat and I go sleeping. Yeah. And the next day repeat. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's my life, yeah. basically. Yeah. Well, it takes but consistency. Course, it, yes, it <laughs> takes, but that's the thing that you need you need to concentrate what you are doing yeah. and then just repeat it. Yeah. And then make analyze. Are you going to the right direction or not? Yeah. It's quite simple, but there's not so many people who can really do it right. for one week or two weeks or one month or one year or in endurance sport. No. If you want to make some big development or improvement, improvement, then you need to do it for two, four years. Yeah. So you need to be humble. Mm -hmm. And well, I mean, I can only say we are impressed by this. Uh mentality and, and it's even inspiring to us of course to hear and see how you are training and how you are improving um, we'll try to do the same it was great to have you on and we'll talk soon again and good luck and Thanks. for all of you viewers 
make sure you also cheer Matti on in the coming season. Thank you.